Am I holding it? Like, I'm holding it. Here we go, here we go. Answering your knee questions, take one. Hey, I'm Dr. Wayne Machetti. I'm Alex Orham, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at Dartmouth Health. Today, my goal is to answer some of the most common questions about knee replacement. What is the success rate for knee replacement? Modern knee replacement surgery has a success rate of about 95 to 97%, which means that patients are rating their outcome as good, very good, or excellent. Sometimes the expectations that people have for what a knee replacement can do don't always line up with what the surgery can deliver, but for the most part, it's a really successful operation for people. Who is a good candidate for knee replacement and who is not? If you are really hurting and really disabled by your knee arthritis, you're gonna do really well after your knee replacement. If you're walking 10 miles a day and your goal is to walk 12 miles a day, a knee replacement probably isn't for you. The best candidates for knee replacement surgery are people that have severe osteoarthritis or osteonecrosis of their knee. I can't give you the knee that you had when you were 20 or 30 years old, but we can give you an artificial knee that will hopefully hurt less move better than your arthritic knee, and allow you to return back to activity. Will I have to stay overnight in the hospital? Maybe. Some folks go home the same day, some folks need to spend a night. The decision will be made based on your ability to get up, walk around, and how well you're doing after surgery. If you can get up, walk around the unit, feel well, we're happy to send you home the same day. Which knee do you replace more, left or right? Honestly, it's about 50-50. I don't discriminate against joints. I love them all. How does a knee replacement work? Knee replacements are actually uh, a knee resurfacing more than just taking the whole thing out. A knee replacement is done by making an incision in the skin that typically goes from about here down to here, mm -hmm. and then making a deeper incision down next to the kneecap we open up the knee by moving the kneecap to the side, and that exposes the cartilage inside the joint here and here, as well as the meniscus here and here. This cartilage is scraped off using a saw so that the bone can take on a characteristic shape that matches the back of the implant. The implant is grouted, or in some cases attached to the bone by a way that the bone heals to it, and then on the undersurface, the same process is repeated on the tibia where that top part of the bone is removed, a hole is drilled to match the back of the implant, and then when we put the whole thing together, the knee is able to move like this. Ear, ear. How much can I walk after knee replacement? You can walk as much as you want. There's really no restrictions. Initially, you'll start out walking shorter distances immediately after surgery, but eventually, my preference is you walk as far as you possibly can and for as long as you can because walking is great for your overall health as well as keeping the muscles strong around the knee replacement. Can I run after knee replacement? I think the bigger concern is the knee replacement doesn't necessarily feel like your normal knee. And because it doesn't feel like a normal knee, for some folks, it's just harder to run. What does knee replacement feel like? What I want patients to know is that a knee replacement may not necessarily feel the way their knee did when they were 18 or 20 years old. A knee replacement is a replacement. It's a new part of you. One of the analogies that I like to use is having a knee replacement is like trading in a Ferrari for a Toyota Camry. The knee replacement is really dependable. It'll get you where you want to go, but it's not going to corner like an Italian sports car used to. The knee replacement is made of metal and plastic, and so commonly people will feel or hear a little click or a clunk, and that's just the metal hitting the plastic. People can usually get back to activities though and do most everything they feel comfortable doing with the understanding that the knee feels a little bit different. When can I have sex? Typically, you should probably wait a few weeks after joint replacement to the swelling subsides and you start to feel a little less pain and a little bit more comfortable. When you see me in clinic, I have a whole brochure that outlines the specifics of sex and sexual positions after surgery to make it a little bit more user-friendly. Oh, I felt like I was nailing it right there. Oh, hello. Why do my knees sound like Rice Krispies? What actually is happening inside most people's knees before knee replacement is that fluid is getting pressurized in one part of the knee and it's popping into another part of the knee. That's the same thing that happens when you crack your knuckles. You're pressurizing fluid in one area and when it pops into another low pressure area, that's what creates the popping sound. On-demand knuckle cracking. <laughs> what we do. Is there a downside to waiting? Joint replacement is a purely elective surgery to be done when the timing is right for you, your family, your caregivers. 
Do I need to lose weight before knee replacement? Most patients that come in for joint replacement surgery, if they have what's called a body mass index or a BMI of between 18 and 35 or 40, don't need to lose weight prior to having their joint replacement surgery. For patients who have a BMI greater than 40, there are some increased risks associated with having a high BMI and then having a knee replacement surgery. And those risks can be pretty significant, including a risk of what's called a deep infection. For patients who have really high BMIs greater than 50 or 60, we do recommend that they work on weight reduction prior to surgery in order to keep their risks of a complication as low as possible. But for patients who have a BMI of between 18 and 40, there's no need to lose weight prior to their joint replacement or prior to your knee replacement in order to have a successful outcome. Should I have surgery with a robot? I think the most important thing you should do is have surgery with a high volume surgeon at a high volume center. When you look at outcomes after joint replacement, whether that's hip or knee replacement, surgeons who do a lot of them have better outcomes and lower complications. There are some pros and cons to using a robot. Maybe you can improve the alignment a little bit better, uh, but truthfully, most of the data would suggest that having a high volume surgeon who does a lot of them will give you the best outcome. How many surgeries like this do you perform a year? Sh ton. So in the past year, I performed over 600 hip and knee replacements. I do first time hip and knee replacements or primary joint replacement. I also perform about 30 to 40% revision hip or knee replacement. So those are people who get referred in, who've had a hip or knee replacement that's failed and needed to get redone, which equals a done. Oh. Can you predict the weather with a new knee? I don't know if it's that accurate, but it's definitely a real phenomenon. Is knee surgery painful? Short answer, yes. Knee replacement can be quite painful. There's a lot of things we do to try to mitigate pain. What I tell patients is to expect that the end of the first week and the beginning of the second week are gonna be the hardest as far as pain and swelling. But then after that, things should start getting better pretty quickly. Are there exercises I can do before surgery to help the recovery? Yes. Doing exercises before surgery can help improve the strength around the joint, your overall mobility, and your endurance. Seeing a physical therapist can sometimes help with this as they can guide you for what exercises you should be doing. When you book surgery with me, I also prescribe you exercises and give you exercises beforehand so that you can adequately strengthen the muscles and get prepared for surgery. We have a little gift for you. Oh, thank you. It is quite little. I'd like to start by thanking my wife for none of this would be possible without her unconditional love and dedication. Hi, I'm a knee. Hi, I'm a hip. More of me are done. I have better outcomes. A knee? I'll be right there. That's all the questions I have. Thanks for listening, and I hope you learned something. Keep in mind, everybody is different, and these are general answers to common questions. We'll answer more of your questions in a video here.